Hey, you guys. So I just wanted to make this quick video um, because I realized when I was editing and posting for you guys that I did not record my day, my beta, my third beta. Um, and I think that's because they didn't call me. They just sent it through the portal. Um, so I just kind of wanted to give you that update. Okay, so my third beta was exactly six days after my last. So it wasn't like 24 hours, no, 48 hours like the second one was. It was actually six whole days. Um, so my second beta was, I think, 62. I don't really remember. Um, but looking here, my, I don't know if you can really see it, but it is 831.2 was my third beta. Um, my progesterone, um, did they do my progesterone? Let me see. And that was on, on the 6th of April. They did not, oh, they did. They did a progesterone. My progesterone was high. My progesterone was at 57.18. So typically anywhere from 20 to 44 in early pregnancy is the average for progesterone. So mine's 57.18. But also keep in mind, I am on vaginal inserts of progesterone as well as the intramuscular um, injection of progesterone oil. So it was high. Um, and then she had me come back exactly six days later for beta number four. So I came in for beta number four. That was on the 12th of April. Um, and that number was shocking. Let me see if you guys can see it. Oh, you can't see it. It is 4,744. That was my fourth beta, which was, I was not expecting that number. Um, but just knowing that that number was that high, I was just like, oh my God, thank God. Like, I was just, I was so relieved that it finally was over the thousand. Not only was it over the thousand mark, but it was almost 5,000. So, yeah. Then my progesterone, um, let me see, let me pull that up. My progesterone was 50.85. I forgot to mention, after my third beta, um, she stopped my intramuscular injections. So, I, and she upped my my vaginal progesterone to, f to three a day instead of two. So I was no longer taking the muscular injections, and but I was taking three progesterones, vaginal. Um, so my progesterone actually went down on my fourth beta, and that was um, 50.85, so it was still high. Um, so let me see. I'm just trying to make sure I get, get you guys up to gate, date. Um, in, the, in the next couple of videos, you guys, I do go over the ultrasounds that I had. I did have one, two, three, three ultrasounds with my clinic. Um, I did have five altogether because I had two um, when I went to the hospital, but I'm kind of jumping ahead and I'm, I'm, I apologize. So you guys will, in the next couple of videos, you will see my update um, on all of that. So I just wanted to make sure you guys had all the facts um, so I can move on. So you guys, I, I don't want to miss anything. So, so I had four betas. Then my last beta was almost 5,000. So they stopped doing my betas after that because they were, they were fine. My numbers were going, they were doubling. They were more than doubling. They were rising. They, they was over the thousands. So they were, they were content with what it was. So I no longer had to do betas. So yeah, you guys, it's kind of exciting, but okay. Until the next video.